Time for your Smart Money Minute with our friend Andy Mattingly from a Forum Credit Union. Andy, good to see you. Good to see you, too. You know, we can do this segment sometimes at the food bar. Yeah, with some cheesecake. <laughs> Man, it was good. So today, Andy, you're teaching us how we can use the holiday season as a teachable financial moment for our kids, our grandkids. So let's jump right in. Here we go. Why are the holidays such a great time to do this? Well, there's so many financial skills that you need to use during the holidays. It's a short kind of period of time. And so, and there's a great way to involve your kids and, you know, to learn about some of these, you know, really basic things from budgeting to not spending more than you have, all those kinds of things. So it's a great opportunity. Yeah, I love the, just even the, the basic concept of giving a kids to budget to buy something for someone else. Uh, yes. Yeah, we're just having this conversation as a family too, like our yeah. five-year-old son, like what do you want to get your eight-year-old sister? Yeah, you and know? it's good, and you know, and a lot of times at, at schools, they sometimes have the Santa shops or whatever. Sure. And you can say you're, you know, for your brother, your sister, or for your grandparents, you know, and give them a budget, and then they'll come back and say, well, there's not enough money, and yeah. you say, well, you can find something, because we all know grandma and grandpa will love anything their grandkids give them. Absolutely. You know, and we'll display it forever, so that's a great thing with younger kids that you can you can kind of give to them and they start learning about budgeting and thinking of others when buying a gift instead of just themselves. Start them out early. So yeah. Andy, what are a few good skills that younger kids, especially under the age of 12, should be learning around now? You know, I think the most important thing is that money is not unlimited, you know, mm -hmm. so that they can't just spend whatever they want, um, you know, on on any type of gift and everything. I think that's the most important thing that younger kids, because they don't really understand that. And so if you start s showing that there's a limit to money, they'll, it's a good skill to learn. Yeah, it does not grow on trees, although sometimes we want it to. Yeah. Uh, and I love that the, the bullet point, too, about teaching them how to use their talents as a gift as well. Yes, yeah, and especially if they're, if they're a little bit older, like when you get into the teenage years, that's a great thing to teach them, because they'll have a lot of talents that can be useful. Maybe they're great at painting, and so they'll help, you know, they'll the gift that they give to their aunt is that they'll paint a room for them or something yeah. like that. So there's a lot of things that you can do that way. Uh, other skills for those teenage years are going to be that comparison shop. You yeah. Know? Teaching them that they need to look for the best deal, not the first deal. Those are good things there. Yeah, little kids are one thing, but what about teenagers? How can this yeah. season be a great teachable well, moment this Well, is, this is when you really can give these teenagers, you can help, let them help you, you know? Mm. Say, hey, I want you to help me with this list. And so all of a sudden you're showing them that you have a budget, you have a plan, and you're trying to do everything to lower how much you're spending. So it's a great skill to teach them that you need to plan for the holiday. Yeah, and this is going to last them a lifetime as well if we yes. start now. So yeah. what are the biggest lessons that parents should hope that their kids can learn around this time of year? Well, I think, you know, like, don't overspend. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the value of the gift is more important than the price, which we all fall in the trap of wanting to spend a lot. Then having a plan, a budget, and sticking to both. Yeah, you have you to. Know, and finally, that you need to use smart shopping habits. I think those four things, if you can get your kids to learn those things, that lasts a lifetime. Uh, it's great wisdom as always, Andy. We appreciate it. You can learn more about Forum Credit Union at forumcu.com or follow them on social media as well. Andy, thanks as always. Great to be here. Hey, we have an amazing contest for you to enter right now. Our friends at Hope Plumbing are giving you the chance to win a new tankless water heater valued at over $5,000. Take a look at this.